They're now to react, at least to the investigation, Republican Congressman Andy Biggs from Arizona. He is on the House Judiciary Committee. Let's start with Peter Strzok. Uh, it is clear that, that the man had an extraordinary bias against Trump before he was elected, after he was elected, and even after he was inaugurated. In what way, if any, can you point to areas where Strzok's obvious bias affected the way he behaved as, as at the FBI? Well, there's three, there's three ways. And the first one is when he was on the Hillary Clinton investigation. Don't forget, he was the choke point of information going up to the, uh, to the people who actually signed off on the decision. There were literally thousands of decisions made by Peter Strzok on wh uh, who to investigate, who to interview, how to interview them, how to proceed in that investigation. He was biased in favor of Hillary Clinton, and he did not like Mr. Trump. And so this all plays into that. And so, so it comes out that, the, that they spit out this uh, exculpatory letter before they've even completed all their interviews yet. So he, so he is quit, there. So he quit the Hillary investigation too soon, and he began uh, the Trump-Russia investigation uh, uh, too soon or before there was enough evidence to justify it. Exactly. He moved from one to the, to the next, and he's biased, and he is looking for things. He's looking under stones. They're using the, uh, bad evidence like the, the ore, uh, the, uh, the fusion document, you know, the dossier. They're getting FISA warrants so they can investigate okay. uh, and spy well, you know, on I've even, I've even heard today on, on some other channels uh, uh, people who were quite anti-Trump, who used to be at the FBI, who said that just the fact that he did damage to the reputation of the FBI was enough to fire him. But let me move on to somebody who, who, as far as I know, still has a job at the Department of Justice. That's Bruce Orr, whose wife worked for Fusion GPS, which came up with the Trump dossier. Turns out now that, that Bruce Orr had met with Christopher Steele, the guy who was getting the Russian information, stuffing it into the Trump dossier, as early as January 2016, long before the election, six months before the Russia investigation began. What does that mean to you? Well, it means to me that this is this is conspiratorial, is what it looks like. I mean, that this is done with this knowledge, this intent. They aren't just uh, happening on something. They meant to do this. They knew what they were doing, and that's why we need to investigate this. Not not just the way the Congress is doing it, but criminally. That's why you need a special but counsel. But the timing is particularly. If he, he met oh, yeah. over 60 times with with Christopher Steele, going back to January 2016, the the investigation, Russian investigation, didn't begin until sometime in the summer of 2016. So, what was happening between Bruce Orr and Christopher Steele and the Trump dossier uh, in all those months preceding that summer? I mean, it, it does seem uh, maybe conspiracy is too strong a word, but I can't think of any other. Well, I can't either. You're getting people together that are planning out um, a, a pathway that looks like it may have been illegal. Now, that's what we call conspiracy in the old days. And so that's why I'm looking forward to this, uh, this interview with Mr. Yeah. Orr on the 28th, because uh, that's he's August need 28th, to just for, for folks to set on their calendar. August 28th, yeah. there's going to be this meeting. I had, forgive me for jumping ahead. We only have time for one more question. 66% of the American public now want an end to the Mueller investigation before November, before the midterm elections. Uh, do you think there's any chance of that happening? Well, you know my opinion, David. This should have happened a long time ago. There is a chance it could happen, but I, I just think Mr. Mueller's trying to keep his power and his scope. He wants to keep this thing going for as long as possible. Mm -hmm. uh, it'd be unusual if he actually, in my opinion, I don't know that he's going to finish it by November. Congressman Andy Biggs. Good to see you, Congressman. Please come back as, Thanks, as we get closer to that investigation of uh, Bruce Orr and the, the hearing. I appreciate it.